Hey guys, welcome back. So I got a request to do a tutorial on this look that I posted on my Instagram maybe a couple weeks back. Um, and I'm just now getting around to it, so stay tuned and yeah, let's go. So we're going to start by priming the lid. I'm using Max Paint Pot as always, just on a flat synthetic brush. Bringing that all the way up to the brow. To do this look, I'm going to be using all my Makeup Geek eyeshadows, but you don't have to use this brand at all, just any similar colors will do. To set that, I'm going in with Vanilla Bean, which is just a neutral color on just a flat brush. Just to set that and give our shadows, our darker shadows, just an easier time at blending. For this look, the main thing is keeping the dark colors off of the lid. We want to keep it in the crease and above. We're going to go in with a large fluffy brush. This is just a Lux 205 tapered blending brush. And I'm going to go in with Peach Smoothie which is just a warm colored shadow that is just slightly darker than my skin tone. If you guys watch a lot of YouTube videos, you know that this is like the holy grail of transition shades for YouTubers. So I just had to try it out and I have to agree, I really like it. And then we're going to go in with a different blending brush. I'm using the IT Cosmetics Airbrush Blending Crease Brush. And I'm going to go in with the shade Morocco, which is just a warm orange, anything like that will work. And I'm going to hold my brush out kind of straight. I don't want to go in like this because I'll get it on the lid if I do that. So going in like this and just placing the color right in and above the crease. And then grab the original blending brush that we put the transition shade on with. and. Just buff out the edges and then I am going to go with my Japanesque cut, cre br cut, bleep, bleep, cut crease brush with the shade Cherry Cola which is just a dark burgundy color and I'm going to kind of go down into the crease. And again, put that not as far out as we put the orange shade, but in the same spot. And then again, go back to what we used to place the orange shadow to buff that out. And then you can go back in and add more color if you feel like you need more depth. And then I'm just going to take a small um, e.l.f. Cosmetics, just one of their $1 blending brushes. I'm going to go in with the shade Bada Bing, which is a dark, dark chocolate brown. This one has a little bit of glitter, but you can't really, it doesn't really come across as such, so. But I'm just going to add that to the very outer corner to deepen it just a little bit more. and blend it out. And if you accidentally get any on the lid or anything like that, you can just go back in with the brush that you applied your lid shade with and just kind of pat it over where you may have budged it. Now it's time for liner. I personally like using a brown liner with this look. I'm going with the Stila Stay All Day liquid liner. I usually start out by carving my the top. I can't talk while I do this, so I'll explain first. Uh, just lightly line the lid first, and then we're just gonna zip. 
and then we're gonna start the wing. Hope you guys can see anything I'm doing. And to start the wing, I'm just going to... When you do winged eyeliner, you need to remember that it's an extension of your lower eyelid. And so you just line it up and draw it downward. And then go from the point and bring it down onto the lid. And fill it in. And there's that. Now we're gonna go back to our eyeshadows with just a small little pencil brush. This is part of a crown double brush thing. I really like this, it's really soft. I got it in an Ipsy bag. I have like three. My mom gave me like two of them and I don't know. But we're going to go back in with the orange shadow and just put it all under on the lower eyelid. Going to wipe the brush off. Go back in with a little bit of cherry cola and add that just to the outer half. And then I'm going to just flip the brush over and use that to buff that out so there's no harsh edges. I'm going to use NYX Wonder Pencil, just a light nude color, and put that in the waterline. And then any kind of mascara will do. I'm using the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. This is just the one I've been using. Last time I did this look, I used an orange lip, but I'm just going to go in with a nude today. And that is ColourPop Smitty. And there we go. That is the finished look. And again, you can use any eyeshadows you have, whatever you need. So, 